Hello people and welcome to my episode in the 2022 global collaboration from Paradox. You're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for all support to the point that Paradox have invited me to take part in this map and it is built by Sanctum and there's a whole host of truly fantastic content creators that have been invited to build on this map. Such as Distanced, Skibbeth, Palms Time, Slay 3K, Zardus, Toady, Conflict Nerd and Yumble. And there are many more talented builders uh, that will come after me as well. So how do we follow such amazing builds? Uh, I'm going to build a little medical sort of hospital complex on top of the hill here. And we're going to get things started out today by just messing around uh, with some of the terrain and then positioning some keys against the existing networks that we've got in this area from Slays and Zardus' builds. Once I positioned the keys, I then began to place down some roads in order to help establish a base frame for the hospital. And we decided to go with the new uh, vanilla roads that have been added with the update recently. Um, although something in the mod list was not allowing me to upgrade the trees on this road, uh, so we ended up leaving them as vanilla. Once I established the main roads, I then brought in a Recode School of Medicine from the university buildings uh, to help feature as kind of like a main bulk building for the hospital complex to rest at. And then we eventually start fusing some assets into this as well, uh, before providing some new external connections in and out of the facility. We'll now start looking at different sort of assets that we can pair into the main medical facility. Uh, the new hospital that came with plazas and promenades is like a fantastic addition onto this, almost functions as like a new more modern wing of the hospital that's been added recently. Whereas the older school of medicine uh, is kind of a more older brick style building so I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. Continue to wrap networks together to make it make sense so it flows into the existing people's builds here. We're also tight into Skibbeth Suburb alongside wrapping it around the road that uh, sits in Slay's area which is just across the road from us. Uh, speaking of Slay, he had also downloaded these really cute condo assets from the workshop and I thought that just looking at them they almost kind of look like maybe some sort of private more reserved quieter healthcare units perhaps for recovering patients and I think it kind of worked out nicely. We used a little bit of move it to sort of fuse them together and then pair them with some classic uh, park assets and a little bit of green belt and I think it turned out really nicely in the end. So we'll round out this area by playing with some of the nodes and then creating a little green belt to surround it that blends it into the tram line uh, that feeds into Zardus's uh, tram interchange area which is just down the street. Now turning our attention across the road I wanted to add kind of like a paediatrics area into the hospital so we combine the child healthcare centre with the elder care centre uh, just to create a little sort of mini complex again within the grander wider facility and then wrap it up with some cute little road network action respecting some little angle snaps. It turned out really nicely. Um, I had a look again at the back of the hospital here and thought that the uh, hospital medical 
a helicopter depot would be sort of perfect for this. Almost as like the hospital has like its own helicopter landing area. We now start placing our parking spaces along the curved road, uh, which starts to look really nice once this gets busy. And we also end up painting this whole area to be this huge open walkable concrete space by hiding a vanilla walking path over that surface painter. And it just brings it to life so much more. Uh, alongside a little bit of statue detailing with some benches outside the front of the building again just to respect those sight lines that are starting to develop around different areas of the build and then we also throw in a few little live oak patterns here as well because uh, i really did want to leave some significant open green spaces between the major kind of clusters of buildings for this hospital and uh, i think it came out quite nicely adding some sort of bushes as well in very repeated patterns really gives us a kind of more landscape vibe which I think lends itself nicely to kind of a sort of more private healthcare vibe that we're creating here. Started making some small networks around here and again just refining any sort of node inconsistencies with node controller and then painting up some stuff with the new uh, death care building from the hearts of korea pack uh, so that's really nice that looks really great here uh, and then using some of these classic uh, networks of the workshop i think there are vanyas uh, to decorate up the front of the hospital which does end up changing um, a little bit but uh, yeah it's a nice little way to just bring a little bit more landscaping into a concrete space We then continue the fusing of different buildings by bringing in the medical laboratory from the Japanese content creator pack. And then we also end up throwing in a high capacity elementary in here too. Again, to kind of function as like a more modern pediatrics wing uh, for the hospital. And it's a kind of a quirky fusing, <laughs> but I think it works. Uh, I think I'm really happy with it. It's uh, it, it adds to a really kind of grand, much more larger building complex when we start to look at it. We also end up adding the post office and the European medical clinic into this as well. Uh, within the asset list, we also have these cute little planters. So I fancied putting them in line with some benches and a walking pathway just to help bring, again, a little bit more life and landscaping um, into these concrete spaces around the facility. And I really like the way these turned out. It's really simple, cute, repeated detailing, but it makes a huge difference in the end, I think. Again, we now start to turn our attention towards these smaller areas of the build where we add in some taxi stands next to the medical laboratory and then some benches along here as well. So this tram line has obviously changed since you guys last saw it but it ended up kind of being changed again anyway because I didn't really like what had come to pass here. Uh, so we actually end up upgrading a section of the tram line into uh, Tram Pedestrian Street uh, just to help highlight the stop a little bit more. It's a great little tip of using the tram lines to do that. Uh, it also easily creates the pedestrian crossings for you as well. And then trying to align some keys and path network and general fence and sort of statue detailing to all respect the sight line of the main entrance of the hospital also some classic heart fountains here as well which i thought was quite appropriate for the medical theme and this place just becomes super walkable busy as well uh, during the cinematics which you'll see towards the end of the video which then leaves us with this cute little kind of completed 
a hospital complex that functions really nicely as the game for residential education and medical care alongside the buffs from the childcare and elder care units as well. Combination of these condos that Slay got and the park assets turned out really nicely and then as we merge across lots of landscaped roads with node controller and uh, repeated bush lines against them we come onto this park space which I developed uh, just to help kind of include a, a little bit of open outdoor walkable space perhaps if you're recovering at the hospital uh, you could come and sit on one of these gazebos here and uh, enjoy a view uh, across Sanctum Gamer's wonderful map that he's made for this series alongside some cafe and table detailing in there as well. As we turn our attention towards the main complex we can see how busy and walkable it is with all those pathways, lots of prop detailing at the front of the elementary school and some more statue vibes in front of the main building again just to kind of draw attention to that sight line down the main road and I just love this space it's just so walkable so green so detailed <laughs> all in front of this big main building and then these networks all spill together with lots of walkability uh, before the uh, tram lines actually kind of finish here yeah. uh, and just sort of just drop so many people off <laughs> it's just super crazy walkable And then we merge around the back of the hospital uh, where we find some fused office assets again just to kind of expand the main building then also added in a tower which had another uh, helicopter landing pad on it and then lots of detail in here lots of industrial themed fencing and overgrowth between the car park areas and also used a, a waste processing complex here too uh, almost as like some sort of waste disposal for the hospital complex if you like i think it fuses and works quite nicely and then this whole space just kind of settles in to be this huge buff for any builds that will surround it. It really raises any land value and it's a nice sort of appropriate usage of the assets that are inclusive here. Uh, to create an authentic kind of medical hospital complex that sits atop the hill. But that is going to do it for today guys. If you are new to the channel please do consider subscribing and watching some more City Skylines content. Uh, do enjoy the cinematics of this build, but otherwise, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.